Welcome back to the coaching journey of Bali Ben. And Houston coming off a loss in Los Angeles against the Chargers where they threw a red zone interception pretty much as time was taken away in the fourth quarter. They're looking to have Tennessee come in and, you know, make sure this interdivision AFC South rivalry stands at uh, Houston winning this one. And Tennessee is 7-8, and eight, looking to get to 500. Houston trying to wrap up and get to that first seed. Their offense is back to full strength, but that's not going to help when you throw a pick. That's not great there. Tennessee is taking the ball. And defense able to hold serve there pretty much and just give up a field goal. But not a good way to start if you're the Houston team. You know, get the ball, and now you're down. Tennessee gets the ball at halftime. Defense is going to have to step up in this game already. J.C. Crum taking unnecessary risk, gets it out to Shaquille Pert. For the first down, again, Tennessee, like I said earlier, 7-8. and eight. They're trying to get to that 500, probably sneak a wild card. If they got to get this win here here in Houston first, Coach Bolly Ben talked about that last play of the game last week in Los Angeles. And he said, J.C. Crum, he saw the guy. They had the play they wanted. Defense just made a great play. Disguised the coverage. Linebacker went into blitz, came back, picked the ball off. Got to learn from it. Got to get good court vision. All right, Shaquille Pert. First down, 10 yards. Here we go. Nitschke back from an injury. Again, he since he was injured, they haven't they've had a tough time running the ball in just general. Uh Shelvin was injured for four weeks. And they couldn't run the ball with the tight end missing. And then Nitschke out for two weeks. So this offense, even though they've been doing pretty well, you know, but they but they've been using again, they've been really depending on the defense to make big plays. The running game hasn't been what it was, but here we go. Nishki able to get a seven yards in the first down inside the 10 yard line. Shelvin's going to be open. Touchdown. And just like that, Houston gets right back on track after that first drive interception. And JC Crump takes off, dives in for the two point conversion. 8 3. Houston is up. And Tennessee's driving the ball and punches it. No, it's a fumble, Ruski. You get a turnover, we get a turnover. Again, Houston's defense stepping up. Had a short field in the first drive. And they go out here and get a turnover. Taking a shot and another interception. J.C. Crum had a man open. Just threw too wide. and Tennessee scores the touchdown, misses the extra point. But what the heck is going on with Crum? It's three interceptions in the last four drives. Not looking too great. Seven seconds left to go here at halftime. Tennessee gets the ball. Well, they got to have a conversation here. And he's sacked. Taking a timeout for what reason? Who knows? Stat padding, I guess. J.C. Crum. Two turnovers in that first half. Defense comes up with a big stop once again. Holds him to a Tennessee punts the ball. So defense is stepping up big time in this game. Nitschke gets the screen. Nine yards. It's going to be third down and two. Man. Big, big game for the defense. And Nitschke's going to be close to the first down. Able to get it, but it hit immediately. And here we go. Makes a couple guys miss. Out of bounds. Tough five yards there. And Houston offense not really doing much today. Giving the ball away. Running game hasn't really been there, but here we go. Good run. Nitschke for 10. He's got to keep pounding away. Give it back to the running back. Gain of two. Again, Tennessee's still up 9-8. And Nitschke breaks a couple tackles, makes a couple guys miss. Going to be close to that first down marker. And they're giving it to him. First down, Shelvin's open in the seam. Makes Breaks tackle, stiff arm. Gain of 16 to the 11-yard line. Should be the last, what, one more play left of the third quarter. Back shoulder, Shelvin. Hit, but still got a first down. It's going to be first down and goal at the, inside the one-yard line. Start of the fourth quarter. Where are we going with it? And Chauvin hit for a loss in the backfield. Great stand for the defense. But Nitschke's able to get in this time. And going for the two-point conversion to make a seven-point game. 
Nishki dives in there to make it 16 to 9. Houston's defense. Let's see if they can do it one more time. And touchdown. Extra point is good. We got a tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Houston, one more drive to go, and they still got a chance to win it. 52 seconds left. Field goal range is what they're going for. Try to get the clock out of here. They don't need a lot of yards. About 20 yards can do it for this team. Their kicker has a boot. J.C. Crum takes off, out of bounds. First down. Shaquille Pert, a little outside in the flat. Gain of eight. Close to that. Getting close to that field goal. They're taking a wide shot. Nearly. It's picked off once again. Holy cow. Three interceptions. Defense able to hold them, but going into overtime. I get three turnovers in a game. Defense has stepped up big time in this game. Offense has played extremely sloppy, and yet they still got a chance to win the game and getting the opening kickoff. Coin was lucky for there. Uh, you know, if I'm my recommendation, just hand the ball off to Nishki. Just get this guy, put the running back on your back. Quarterback can't be trusted in this game. Don't know what he's seeing. The guy's got four interceptions in the last two games, nearly losing both of them. We're going into the playoffs soon. You can't can't be turning the ball over like this. And it's gonna be third down and one. The running game, a little screenplay. Nishki breaks loose. Across the 50-yard line to 49. First down. Minute left to go here in overtime. Nishki breaks it. Breaks the tackle. Gets tackled, but pushed forward. Another first down. Clock keeps ticking. Nishki outside. Makes a guy miss. Makes another guy miss. Out of bounds. Across the 30-yard line. They are putting him, putting this. Ah. Nishki's been the driving horse this overtime. They don't trust J.C. Crum at all to throw the ball. As the clock keeps on going, they can pretty much kill it with the field goal. 20 seconds left to go. Shelvin's opening the seam once again inside the 10-yard line. First down, 10 seconds to go. They got an opportunity. And there it is. Shaquille Pert open for the touchdown. Tracy Crumb finally makes it happen. Houston's going to win this 22, and they got another injury. Something's wrong with the medical staff here in Houston because their defense is falling apart. Biggest reason why they won this game after three interceptions. Nitschke, player of the offensive player of the game there. And we're going to see you guys in Indianapolis for week 18 as Houston tries to lock up this division, get the first seed, and get that bye week. See you guys next week.